we are back at it again. It's been quite a while since I've done one of these driving vlogs. But if you're still looking for that small town charm, you're wanting to be a little further away from, say, Wichita and its suburbs, well, you're in for a treat. So make sure you stay till the end because this is going to be a good one. We're getting after it right now. So we're jumping right into it. We are entering Sedgwick, Kansas. So this is going to be northwest of Valley Center and then southwest of Newton. So like I said, if you're looking for something a little bit smaller, you don't mind a little bit more of a drive when you're having to go pick up the groceries, any modern, I say modern, any other uh, amenities, then uh, Sedgwick County is certainly a great place to consider. It's going to be on the smaller end of towns in the area. Not quite the smallest, but it's got that small town charm in spades for sure. And I know I use that pretty frequently, but I mean, I think they have a Dollar General. That's about it. So if you're wanting to make a grocery run, you're most likely going to be going to either Newton or Wichita. Got some beautiful houses though. So we're driving down here in Sedgwick. We're on Commercial Street. We're going to head into their business district. I said small small little town you know like 1700 people what have you not a whole lot of amenities here they do have a gas station um, small little uh, Dollar General but we're in the business district here hoof and horn is what you uh, are yeah hoof Hoof and horn. Really, really great little steakhouse. It's uh, it's funny. I've been in there, and they see the the locals on the left and the tourists on the right. I mean, you have people coming from Wichita all around just uh, just to come to this place. So, I mean, it's a charming little town. I actually had sat down with one of the uh, locals, you know, kind of giving me the story. I've been out here, this is probably like my fourth time, and just real quiet, quaint little town. Everybody seems to know everybody. This is probably going to be one of the smaller towns, and the, the railroad runs through here as well. So, this is going to be one of the smaller towns. I think they, I think about 1,700 people. But, Hoof and Horn, there's a nice little coffee place here. But, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes, 25, 30 minutes from Wichita. It's going to be northwest of Valley. Valley Center that is and southwest of Newton so I had a pretty good conversation with one of the locals we sat down it's it's kind of funny you come into some of these towns and you know anywhere you sh you have a camera and you're shooting and you're gonna get eyes on you but when, you, when it comes to these really smaller towns you really 
really draw a lot, a lot of attention. I mean, this is going to be anybody, anybody driving down the street and kind of where I was at, just kind of smack dab in the middle of town. And uh, you're drawing a lot of attention. Play some football, some basketball. Looks like the school's over here on the right. Yep, yep, that's the school. Well, looks like we better turn around. Pretty open and shut little town. It's pretty nice. It's actually, I was talking with one of the locals about it, and like I, he was telling me that it's landlocked. So to just put it simply, with without doing a whole lot of extra work I mean kind of what you see is what's here and there's still room for expansion and you know that's good it seems like the community here is is pretty strong and lively what have you everybody seems to know everybody and So, there's really not a whole lot of houses up for sale. So, very nice, very charming people, what have you. Got some of the older style homes here as well. Nice little mix. Nice little blend, so to speak. But yeah, nice little, a charming, quaint little town. You know, if you don't mind being just a little bit further away from the amenities you know the jobs I mean I'm not saying there's not opportunities here work-wise because you know there is but if it's something specific say manufacturing aircraft medical what have you you know it's not exactly gonna be here so you know if, if you're okay with it having to make a little bit further of a drive Sedgwick's a pretty solid little town. But let me know what you think. Could you see yourself living here in Sedgwick? Yes? No? Hey, that's okay. Bring me two or three things you like, you dislike, a time frame, a budget. You might be surprised what I find. If you made it this far, do me a solid like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. If you got a question, reach out. I can't read your mind. Call, text, email, DM, all that fun stuff. Morning, noon, early night, guys. I got your back when it comes to relocation to Wichita and the surrounding area. Until the next one, guys. See you later.